Well, first L of the trip. Uh, what's up guys welcome back to channel because i have a great day uh so we're currently in the bad and boosted s550 uh we just got ourselves a big old pink lemonade so we can start this journey uh this is the first time i actually go ahead and take this car out on a pretty long trip like this i think the longest i've ever taken it was like maybe an hour or so uh but this is actually gonna be over three hours uh but nonetheless we are packed and loaded to go we even got the little man back here with all the extra stuff that we have the trunk is fully filled uh, i try to stay i try to keep stuff away from the tanks for the most part uh, however uh, it definitely is stacked and i just came back from the quick touchless wash this thing looks so damn good i'm super super happy with this car i cannot wait till the next phase though uh, that is why i'm actually taking this car right now i was actually gonna go ahead and take the q50 uh, just for travel purposes obviously again we're pretty loaded here however uh, this is probably going to be uh, some big changes in the near future so i decided hey this is the best time to go ahead and take it go get some photos out there uh just enjoy the coast in general uh but again this is how she's looking right now so damn clean so with that being said let's go ahead and hop in the car and get on this journey get into uh, some of the driving over here but again obviously i have a family filled car right now not gonna do anything crazy at all <laughs> man what is with these roads Jeez. rs oh that's gold that's literally the same spec i was gonna get oh man i'm jealous Well, first L of the trip. Uh, this pretty much came undone completely and was pulling everything off. And I just stopped here at this gas station, but I guess uh, this gas station does not carry zip ties, which I am shocked to be honest with you. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little hair knot thing in there and see if it works. So I went ahead and tied this knot real quick. Uh, hopefully it will do. It looks like it should hold up, but we'll go ahead and obviously find out. So, so far she is doing really well. Again, cannot complain. Only thing I gotta say is I didn't record the MPG, but I will say after about an hour and a half, I already used a little over a quarter tank. Definitely a time I am happy to be on bags. I don't know if you guys go actually see that lip there, but man, I really hope my brother doesn't uh, scrape too hard right there. Look at that overcast getting out of the mountains right now. Oh, so damn close. Only a few more minutes until we get to the spot. Man, when we left, we were in the hundreds and now we're in the nice cool 70 degrees. Overcast, fresh wind out here. It always feels amazing to head out of uh, San Cal and just come out here and enjoy that nice fresh ocean air right there. Look at that water. <laughs> Thank you. And then uh, they're visiting uh, the two behind me with us. The two behind you? Yeah, they're just going to unload. Okay. Yeah.
and it's always good when there's no damage to the front bumper she still looks really really good now you guys saw i got kicked out of the last spot i actually just got kicked out of this spot but i knew i had to take some photos in front of this sign right here so i'm gonna go ahead and bounce out before i get any cops called on me about to head back home oh, man, back to Senka. Tape, appreciate it <laughs> So we just filled up there. It's crazy how cheap it is here. But uh, anyways, it's like two dollars cheaper. But we also got some Nas. Let's go ahead and keep me awake. It's uh, about like I don't even know what's five o'clock right now, six o'clock ish. Uh, so we got a long way home. But we're gonna go ahead and hit it. Uh, plan is to be in bed tonight, baby. So we'll see how it goes. So I took a little bit of a detour over here in Morro Bay. Go ahead and see the big old rock over there. But damn, she looks good right now. Ooh. Aaron out over here at the rock, breaking necks. That's what we do. So this is why the bag and boosted 10R80 is the perfect daily. Literally decided on our way back home just because Morro Bay was on the way. We uh, pretty much made a little detour. Got the big old rock behind here. But seriously though, I, that's how confident I feel in this car where I can go ahead and have the whole fam in here. Literally decide to make detours head out just enjoy some views because this is what we're doing right now just enjoying the sunset sheesh try to take some pictures but honestly uh just because the sunset's so bright they're all coming out blown out i'm not a photographer i just you know have a camera that i try to take pictures of the car here and there but damn just walking around it is insane she looks really really good crazy because just like that back to spending about seven bucks so again like two dollars more than uh, what we just filled up over there and uh we're about i think about a hundred dollars into gas at this point but this will be the last fill up so now that the car is all cleaned up i can actually go ahead and just do a little walk around uh so basically i will go ahead and say the fact that it's on air ride suspension made this trip a lot better i will say the handling around the mountains and all that good stuff uh worked out really well didn't have any issues there uh, i will say the air suspension really came in clutch uh, anyone who's been to the bay area uh, there is some very steep uh, potholes steep uh, driveways all that good stuff especially when we're out there by morro bay the parking lot there uh, huge potholes just because it's out of dirt so i will say uh, the air suspension did come in clutch there so and i don't have the recaros on here uh, so comfortability as far as seating wise very very good uh, heating cooling seats awesome amazing for that piece uh obviously apple uh, carplay on here so all those little aspects made this car a perfect trip car to be honest with you um obviously we have the q50 which i could have took but would have a little bit more room i will say the biggest thing would be the gas mileage obviously we're tuned on 91 uh, that's why i kept it on 291 again i have the cobra and shelby that are tuned on e85 so would this trip have been possible maybe probably not honestly because usually you have to take a jug or two uh just to have in the back and if you're talking about room in the back to do all that, uh, then you're gonna start having some issues because obviously we have the air tank, we have the nitrous bottle, and that, uh, that part wouldn't have been doable. So again, that's why I'm keeping it on 91 compared to E85 like the other ones. So would I recommend a backed and boosted 10R80 uh, to take on a road trip? 100%, can't go wrong with it. Had tons of fun with it. Uh, again, didn't get anything crazy or wild with it because obviously I had a family packed car here. However, definitely uh, enjoyed a little bit of it uh my son was very happy with it and i am about to expose myself if that's what you want to call it but i have a rock ship right there another one right here again i daily this car i drive it i enjoy it uh so it's not perfect when it comes down to that stuff so i wasn't worried about getting any more rock ships it happens it's if you drive your car you're gonna get them 
All right, y'all, with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoy the video. If you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. It will help out a lot. And actually hit the notification bell because, to be honest with you, I have been inconsistent when it comes to video uploads. So if you have it on, at least you'll know when I upload. And again, the whole premise of the video was because I am going to be doing some crazy stuff to this Mustang, more than likely having locked it in quite yet. However, definitely high consideration. So I had to do it now before I had to get dropped off. Oh.